Chomp Fitzgerald from the dugout in Durban North. 15 historical photos you won't find in the history books. Check these photos. It's from the viral lane. I'll leave the, <coughs> the link in my post. Okay, let's start with the first historical photo. Lips that touch liquor shall not touch ours. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. Check this out. <laughs> Look at these women's faces. I'm sure the men were very happy. This is exactly what he says here. Basically, you see women's... Yeah, you see a women's prohibition group standing up for their belief that consuming alcohol is basically the work of the devil. Yes. Which is why it's so damn fun to do. You can bet their male counterparts were, counterparts were psyched when they read these signs. Not only did they, did they keep drinking, they didn't have to come and kiss this woman. <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, the guys measuring their length of their costumes to see if their, their length is appropriate for the beach. <laughs> this woman checking it out. Yeah, this guy's measuring. Okay, let's just see what the article says here. Here we see a man measuring two ladies' swimsuits to see if the length is appropriate. Holy Christ on a cracker, what would this guy do if he was suddenly transported to the year 2015 where women were fighting to free the nipple? <laughs> Next. Crikey Moses, what's this? The Isolator by Hugo Gunsback. What's he wearing? A mask? Let's read what it's about. Okay, this is what he says here. It's hard to believe that this nose is a nose cancelling mask, is real and not some photographic hoax. But it is indeed a very real image and a very real invention in the 1920s. What clinically insane human being thought was a good idea, no one thought to just stick something like in the ears. They could have just invented the fuzzy, fuzzy ear muffs. You had to wear, but you had to wear a deep sea diving helmet instead. <laughs> oh my goodness. What photograph is this? She's wearing a mask. This must be something from the 1920s somewhere. Okay, let's read a little bit about it. If you wore something like this nowadays, you'd be immediately arrested without bail. Why were the people in 1920s obsessed with covering their entire head with something? You know, you ask me. What were they protecting their face from? The sun or chlorine? Either way, putting rubber or whatever the hell it is against your wet skin, is it really the best idea? <laughs> What's oh, this, a bus trying to topple over or something? Or they're measuring something? Let's just see what he says about it. <laughs> Yeah, this is one of the most stupidest things we've seen. This is a double-decker bus manufacturer's attempt to prove to the general public that the bus will not tip over. And wow, look at that. It's quite a steep angle, and yep, they're right. It's no tipping. It's not tipping over. They've just forgotten, it seems, the laws of inertia that tell us if the bus were going at 40 miles an hour and it took a sharp turn, that bus is tipping over. <laughs> so it's, it's no use to do this. Wow, look at this. All these ladies saying goodbye to all their boyfriends and husbands, right as the boat's about to leave through the portholes. Wow. Look at this. You don't see this today, eh? Let's see what he says about this. Yeah, what a shot. We always see the iconic image of the man who grabbed the woman in the middle of Times Square on V-Day, but we, we personally never seen this one before. Interesting, eh? It's so emotional. These lovers don't, don't ever want to say goodbye because they, that might be the last time they see each other again. Every last second counts before that ship pulls away. Sigh. Tragically romantic. Wow. Yeah. Kid just grabbing his shoes. I like just give him a pick. Give, give him being given a pair of shoes. He seems so happy about it. Let's just see what he says about this. You can see. You can even believe how absolutely beside himself with joy this boy is at his brand new shoes. When you take a look at the, at the pairs he's got on, you can see why. What's so striking about this moment is that today's kids barely e even get excited if you buy them a new car. Some kids do, but it's rare that a kid is going to be so happy with something most of us in the world find small and meaningless. Hmm. Sure. A whiskey machine. Sheesh. This lady's going to get some whiskey. <laughs> Let's read about it. Yeah, where have you been all our life, man? Those were the days. Go to one dispenser and get yourself some whiskey, then head over to another one and get yourself a pack of smokes. <clears throat> What's really great about this photo is there's a huge arrow pointing to the whiskey button and then those two tiny buttons for the water and soda. Yeah, jeez. You could go actually to a whiskey machine. Pour yourself a whiskey. <laughs> yeah, I know. What's this, man? <laughs> We've got to read what this guy's got to say about this. Two, two cups on this lady's breasts. She could rest these two teacups on there. Let's find out what this is. Okay, you could say this woman is a bit of a tease, but seriously, we would think she'd need much larger cups than that. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, normally, you see, normally you would see images of Victorian period. Everyone looks so serious but positively angry. Right? It's nice to see a woman loosen up and have a little bit of fun. <laughs> okay. So this guy's in drag. 20th century stuff. Okay, before the Backstreet Boys or One Direction, there was a boyish band. <laughs> okay, we are a huge fan of the garters tied around the legs. Yeah, I am too. And the penciled in beauty mark, aka, aka mole. <laughs> now that's it. I didn't go through all the photos, all the 15. It was, there was 15 of them. It's too long to go through all of them. So I just went through. I just yeah, picked a couple. 15 photos you won't find in this. That's for sure. Go and have a look. See if you can find them. Short Cyril from the dugout in Durban North. This is Clan News. Tomorrow night, good day.